Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update about what Xfinity Mobile is going to be doing for its customers who are in the unfortunate path of Hurricane Florence. So if you live in an area that's going to be affected by the hurricane right now, mostly North Carolina and South Carolina, uh, there's some things that you should know that Comcast is going to do to you know try to help you out a bit just in case things get uh, kind of nasty down there to help keep your communications going. And uh, if you're an Xfinity Mobile customer and you have their unlimited internet plan, uh, what they are going to do is they're not gonna throttle your speeds when you get up to 20 gigabytes. You're gonna be able to use as much data as you want with your unlimited plan. And even though you'll get emails to tell you that you're reaching that threshold and that they're gonna slow you down, they're not going to slow you down. And this is going to be in, be in effect until Monday, September the 17th. So uh, feel free to use as much data as you want and uh, you should be okay on that front. Um, now Comcast in this email that they sent, they also mentioned that, hey, you can also use your phone as a mobile hotspot in case you need to connect some of your other internet capable devices to the internet, however, it makes no mention of whether or not that hotspot usage is going to be uh, unlimited or if you're going to get more than what you usually would. They just sort of leave it in there as a reminder. So not too sure if that's going to be affected at all, as well as people who pay for their internet usage by the gig. There's nothing in this email that they sent out to Xfinity Mobile customers to let you know if there's going to be any changes of your service. If you happen to live in the hurricane affected areas and you only pay by the gig, I'm assuming it's going to be business as usual, but if you're not too sure, you can always give them a call. The number that they left is 888-936-4968. And they also put some tips inside of that email as well. Um, so when the storm is going on, I mean, it's really just things that, uh, you know, you should know ahead of time, such as, you know, keeping your batteries charged and getting a portable batteries. Hopefully you have a portable battery charger already. And that when you do need to communicate with uh, friends or loved ones to see how they're doing, to uh, try to resort to using text messages instead of calling because it helps to use uh, less resources that way. Now, on a not so much Xfinity mobile front, but still a uh, Comcast front, um, another thing that they're going to be doing is they're going to be opening up uh, 7,000 Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots throughout Savannah, Charleston, and Augusta to anyone who needs them, including people who are not Xfinity customers, and that's going to be free as well. So um, basically, you would just go into the not an Xfinity customer portion of the site that comes up when you connect to one of those Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots, and then you'll be able to access the internet in places where you normally wouldn't be able to do it um, in case you are not a customer. Now, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully none of this will really even be needed. Hopefully it won't be so bad that you would have to resort to Comcast uh, hotspots and that you won't have to uh, worry about burning through a whole bunch of data, even though you're not going to be penalized for it, uh, just to stay in touch with uh, friends and family as this hurricane goes on. But in case that actually does happen, um, you do have this. Uh, so for everybody, everyone's going to be able to access those hotspots and Xfinity Mobile customers specifically. You're not going to be penalized for using a whole lot of data if you have the unlimited plan. But, you know, once again, uh, call that number if you want to get more information about whether or not the hotspot usage is going to be affected or if by the gig customers are going to be affected because um, it really seems like they're not going to do anything, at least from that email. But you'll never know. It's always best to talk to someone who's actually right there uh, with the company. They have the most up-to-date and most accurate information. So yeah, anyway, just a quick little video. I wanted to let you guys know. I know there's quite a few people who are um, curious about Xfinity Mobile and who uh, appreciate these little updates. So I just wanted to let you know that since this is a very uh, serious situation is going on right now. So I uh, hope everybody over there stays safe, as safe as possible. And, um, you know, best of luck to everybody out there. And, you know, I hope that you all make it out um, with as little damage as possible to, you know, everything. So 
Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.